Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is a video tutorial for the new Boston. In this video, we're going to look at creating an example application that's going to reference the paragraph using a selector or some paragraphs on a page using, a select, using selectors in jQuery. So essentially what we're going to be creating is an application that allows you to increase the text size on a page between paragraph tags. So the first thing we're going to do is set up our page so we know exactly how it looks. So let's first of all go ahead and create our paragraphs. I'm going to create a paragraph here and that's going to have some text inside of it. So this is some text. I'm then going to create another paragraph just below this. Uh, this is some more text. So now just up here we want to create some links that are going to allow us to click smaller or bigger in order to increase or decrease the font size of this text. So let's go ahead and create our um, links. So this one is going to be, well we'll put a label here, so font size. This one is going to be smaller and this one here is going to be bigger. So the uh, link is going to be a hash because we're not actually linking to a, a page. We're using jQuery to handle when we click on these links. But we're going to give each one an ID. So the first one's going to be smaller. And this one is going to be bigger. So now what we can do is we can create event handlers for each uh, of these links and then actually uh, perform an operation on the paragraphs on the page i.e. increase their size using the bigger link or decrease their size using the smaller link. Let's just go over to our browser and take a look at our page. So this is how it looks at the moment. We've got a smaller link and a bigger link which we can click on uh, and then uh, once we've finished the tutorial and actually created the jQuery functionality these paragraphs will increase. Now we're kind of taking the long way round however the reason I'm doing this is to demonstrate uh, the use of selectors um, and just to make things a bit easier to understand. So we've included selectors.js inside of our uh, page as well as jQuery.js and we have selectors.js here open in our text editor ready to start editing. So the first thing we want to do is create event handlers for both these links. So we're going to use a selector to reference the smaller link and then when this is clicked we want to run a function. So we create our function uh, definition and then between these uh, paragraphs, uh, these uh, curly braces here, we are going to perform a function and this function is going to be change underscore size. We're going to go ahead and look at the parameters in a minute when we've done the same for bigger um, and then we'll be uh, you know, feeding in the parameters and, uh, and looking at creating the actual function itself. So the next is uh, hash bigger and we want to again create the same on the same click uh, event handler and again we want to outline a function here and between these brackets we want to run the same function. Now the parameters that we're going to feed here is which element we want to be made bigger. Now for example we could choose um, the element uh, of, or an asterisk um, or for all elements on the page or we could just choose a specific element and in this case we're just going to choose a specific element so the element that we want to feed in is P and the next parameter will just be smaller so what's going to happen in this change size function we're going to change all of the elements that correspond to this selector to a smaller font size and we're going to use an if statement to check uh, this value inside of this change size function. So we'll do the, the same for this one, we'll select all paragraphs and we want to make them bigger. Okay so let's go up and start to define our function and the parameters that we need to feed in and then we'll create the rest of the function. So the function is called change underscore size. We'll create our block and then we'll fill in the parameters that we need to feed in. So the first is the element that we want to change or the element set that we want to change and the second parameter is the size. So this element here corresponds to the P and this size here corresponds to this textual representation of where we want the size to go. Do we want to increase it or decrease it? 
Okay, so inside of our function, we need to grab the current size of the text inside of these paragraphs. So there'll be a default uh, text size for these paragraphs, which we can retrieve. So I'm going to create a variable called current, and that's going to be equal to um, element.css.